Some daily tasks that seem easy present unexpected challenges for the millions of Americans with independent living disabilities. Go ahead, give it a hit. Oh. Devices like the one shown here, called power links, allow those with physical disabilities to control appliances with an assistive switch. However, these can be cost prohibitive for those who need them most. Cost is, is huge in special ed, right? Everything is so expensive. When you have a person with disabilities, everything, the markup on every product is, is massive. Last year, we took on the challenge of developing affordable alternatives to this technology. While we succeeded in creating effective devices that performed well in real-world environments, their labor-intensive designs limited their large-scale impact. This year, we sought to create a device that would be easier to manufacture at an even lower cost. By designing a printed circuit board, we could get hundreds of vital parts assembled quickly and easily for less than $5 a piece. To create a robust enclosure for the Assistive Appliance Control Unit, or AACU, we turn to leftover PVC remnants from construction sites. By upcycling this frequently discarded material, we are helping to decrease the 7 billion pounds of it that enter landfills yearly in the U.S. With that in mind, we drew out some ideas focused on a small and easily assembled form factor. 3D modeling was key in ensuring the components fit just right. We found that our AACU performed well in extreme use environments, such as adapted physical education classes, where high impact collisions are more common. Home run! However, schools aren't the only places where the AACU can have an impact. We may age into some kind of disability at some level. Um, we know that we don't have to give up that healthy, active, and engaged lifestyle, and students such as um, the, these young gentlemen that really help to make that happen through their design and through moving their projects forward. By creating a device that can be easily assembled using household tools, we hope to benefit each of the 10,000 Delawareans with independent living disabilities with help from community partners. For example, our district's Skills for Independence, Transition, and Employment program gives young adults with disabilities the opportunity to practice employable skills through product assembly and other services. Their prototype could really help change the lives of those facing severe physical and cognitive disabilities by providing a cost-effective tool to help them navigate everyday tasks. We can see that the technology exists to give anyone the ability to live more independently. We believe that with the right model, those who need this technology won't have to worry about the cost.